Peniel's name can be translated from Hebrew Sanskrit as Joy of God and from Coptic and Arabic Sanskrit to mean Grace of God. Also known as Anil, Anil, or Haniel, he's an angel in Jewish lore and angelology, often listed as being one of the seven archangels. Haniel is associated with Venus and performs a similar role as the goddess Ishtar. He is the archangel of the seventh Sephiroth of the Tree of Life, known as Nazach, meaning eternity, and is <clears throat> and in the context of Kabbalah refers to perpetuality, victory, and or endurance. It is possible his name comes from the Hebrew word Hana'ah, which can be translated to joy or pleasure, both qualities of which are associated with Venus, plus the suffix El meaning God. It is equivalent to the Phoenician, I hope I pronounced that right, name Hannibal, which is the Latinization of a Carthaginian masculine name that means Baal is gracious. How ironic. He's one of the angels listed on the Sigillum Day, an amulet with a magical function to allow the initiated magician to have power over all creatures except for archangels, with the caveat that it is reserved only for those who can achieve the blessed vision of God and his angels, also referred to as a beatific visionary. His appearances are said to be in the form of a beautiful man or woman. He has six wings and it gives rise to feelings of love in people. Such an awkward thing to be talking about on Halloween. He has uh, lost secrets of natural healing remedies. In the Book of Enoch, he is credited with traveling to Earth on assignment from Yahweh to pick up Enoch in a fiery uh, chariot and escort him uh, through the flames uh, to another dimension to reach heaven. There's both a lot to put Christians at ease and to put them on edge in that statement. Hanil's duty is to fasten the bonds of love between young men and women. He is known to radiate inner qualities outwardly as if it, they were the full moon. Speaking of, he's associated with the cycle of the moon and draws his power from the moon itself, reflecting its enormous power and beauty. He was an angel sent to protect Mary, known as Maria in this series. Maybe one day I'll do a profile on her. During her pregnancy, which makes him the angel of December. Cause of course, you can't have Halloween without Christmas trying to desperately steal the spotlight, can we? And as such, he's associated with the zodiac sign Capricorn. He is also known as the Angel of Victory and is thought to be a symbol of lasting friendship and lust. Make of that what you will. Guess that uh, Fudashis aren't anything new and have made their way into mythologies. He is also one of the Archangels in the Heavenly Spheres to also be known as a female, the others being Gabriel, Uriel, Ariel, and Neil. From the Shemagami Tensei Emodilias Dictionary, Origin, Israel, one of the seven archangels, he has six wings and gives a rise to feelings of love among people. He also represents Nezech, victory, of the Sethiroth, and is the angel of victory.